Good evening, it's Monday night, ILFL Soccer Night. We have got all the local football for you tonight and we're going to talk about all the things that happened yesterday. David Joseph is out on a referee special committee meeting, so we're going to let him do his part and represent the ILFL out there whilst we spend today dissecting and absolutely analysing everything that happened yesterday. What was it? It was a cup day. Oh, it was cup games galore. We had our ILFL Challenge Cup, all the teams from the first and second division up against each other to see who can go for this Challenge Cup. The holders from last year reach out are now in the Premier Division. They're not there to defend it, so it's open to anyone. Every year we've seen a new winner, possibility of seeing another one, in fact, definitely seeing another one this year. Who would it be? But before we talk about the ILFL Challenge Cup, we have got the ILFL Interlink Champions Cup. Yes, Teams from Milton Keynes, Hackney and Leighton, the Musical League, ILFL itself. Um, all of these teams were up against each other yesterday and we're going to talk about all of them. We've got a couple, a couple of clips to show you, three games in those couple of clips. Uh, we've got the holders, London Meteors, up against each other. And we have got also London Tigers from the Musical League that we're going to show you. And also we have... Um, Beaumont out there against their local rivals. It was a derby, even though it was a team from another division, Mylen. So loads of games there for us to show you. Um, I have just pundits today. No guests. We have our pundits because it's such a special day. It's a cup day. I think we need to talk about how our, our, how our game's gone and get some tactical, tactical analysis from our experts. Over to my right here, I have Shaquille. Welcome, Shaquille. Hi. Good to have you. You're going to give us a, uh, tell us a bit about what you saw yesterday. And then we have our main man. Um, he's everything in one. Pundit, stats man. Uh, on the day organiser, this guy, I don't know where he gets the energy from, and he's, um, <coughs> he's not a day younger than 40. Sorry, I gave that away. Rash, Rashid Ali, Thank ILFL you. Secretary, good Thank to have you. Um, gents, I would love to go over the games, but I believe we have our video clip ready. So, before, actually, um, video clip not quite ready. We will have it very shortly. The moment we do, I'm going to flick it over to you guys. But um, I'll tell you what, before I discuss the results with you, let's go over them. So, if I whip them up on the screen for you, yesterday's ILFL Champions Cup looks like this. We have uh, Beaumont, who played against Myland, which, which is a game we're going to see. Myland won that 5-1. Then we had Leighton Stone uh, playing against the London Tigers of the Musical League. Leighton Stone lost that 7-0. Then we have the two games where we went to penalties. Lixus versus Tottenham Phoenix. And that game finished 2-all. And then penalties went to 4-2. Then we have a repeat of last year's final. What a game that was. London Meteors versus MK Galacticos finished 0-0. I promise you, it was not a boring 0-0. It was a blinding game. And it went to penalties. Seven rounds of penalties. 14 kicks taken. Finished 5-4 very narrowly to London Meteors. So that's our main highlight game. And we'll show you extended highlights of that. Then we also had our ILF representative reach out, beating Hegan 3-1. We had Shakespeare play, I have a trouble pronouncing this, Chef Shoe and Berbers. They won that 2-0. And then we had a home win for Stepney and an away win for Gower All Stars. That is your ILFL Champions Cup games that took place yesterday. <coughs> Rash, where do we begin? Come on. Well, first of all, it's a unique competition. I think just for the viewers, it's a prestigious tournament for champions from different leagues. So it's the cream of the cream, the top dog, so to speak, from different areas, different leagues, different sector. And I think it's where everyone should be thriving to participate. The way we select the teams are if they're league winners or cup winners, then we go for a selection process. But from each league, you've got the best, best teams representing their leagues. So it's expected to be a high level. Uh, you're playing different teams, different challenge, and it's been very successful. Um, going back to the results, obviously the key game you touched on, uh, London Meat is the holders who won it two years in a row, playing MK Galera. I think that was the key match. Everyone was there watching that game, and it was end-to-end -end stuff. And penalties, as you know, it's... Uh, it's a luck, luck of the draw, it's in one's game, and Meteors managed to just hang on and go through. But I'm sure going forward next round, they'll be the team to look out for. They have won it twice, they're the champions, and I think everyone's looking at them for the next draw. Before I go into the other games, because I mean, I know Shaq's um, a bit about that game, um, just, just to stay on the London Meteors Galacticos game, and <coughs> hopefully we'll get to see the video of that. Um, but it, w it was end to end stuff, wasn't it? But what do you reckon? Galacticos had the edge and just lost it on penalties? Yeah, I think Galacticos was. was too laid back. I think I think they thought they they'll 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 have the meteors. Um, but I think the speed and the power of meteors just got them through at the end of the, that's mm. what I think. 
Well, no doubt we're going to speak more about that game. That was that was a big game, and I mean, what a game for us to have in the first round. Um, looking at looking at the other results, um, I mean, Rash, let's let's just touch on your team there, Beaumont. Um, obviously, it was a very interesting derby because it's a derby, yet you're in two different divisions. It started off right. I saw the first half, and I know Marlin won nil up, and it was a very competitive. Both teams have chances. Second half, Marlin just went on third or fourth gear and Bournemouth just couldn't cope. They were stronger, faster, and I think it shows because I looked on the Hackney Leighton League, they actually top, mm. played play 10, won 8, draw 1, and only lost one game. So, you know, they are on form, uh, and I think they were just too strong for Bournemouth, and Bournemouth, for me, I didn't think they were prepared fully, and they didn't have the best of squad, but no excuses. I think Milan were the stronger and better team. Do you team. think it's partly played the fact that Milan actually knows some of your players as well? They do, and they yeah. knew, and that's, uh, they, sh they, they had a bigger, sh bigger squad, stronger squad compared to a moment, and I think even before game you could see the passion was there, the desire was there, whereas unfortunately, I have to admit, Bowman didn't have the same uh, passion and drive compared to Milan, and they deserved it, because second half they were just un unstoppable, they were just too strong and too powerful for Bowman, and Bowman didn't have the backbone or enough subs or the quality in, in the depth in the, in the squad to actually compete. So, and in this competition, you can't go, ahead, go with the 12, 13 players. You need to have a full 18 of high quality uh, because you're playing the best teams in different leagues and Bowman were not, totally, not prepared and Ireland took advantage of that. Hmm. Um, I mean, this year, Shax, we've got London Tigers, only one London Tigers, the musical league one, because <coughs> our ILFL one didn't qualify this year. Yeah. Um, but obviously, they came up against an ILFL team in, in Leytonstone, our League Cup holders. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I mean, what was it, 2-0 at halftime? But it's a whooping afterwards, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Leytonstone, they, they, they've been struggling throughout the season. It just highlights the season so far, really, isn't it? They, they've been up and down. This, it's really been a down rather than an up. So, um, you know, I think they really got to sort themselves out, to be honest with you, for, for next season. But, I mean, they, they had a goal. It is a cup game, so, you know, cup games, you never know what's going to happen. Mm. But Richard looked really good for, for the IFL team. I mean, nice, nicely coming on to that. Now, Richard, we're uh, an ILFL team. Um, we, they joined, joined us last year. Very strong outfit, certainly making a noise in the Premier Division. And a very nice 3-1 win against Hegan, another Tower Hamlets team. Yes, I think Reach Out is one of those teams they've got, uh, the manager wasn't there yesterday, so he actually adds more to the team. When he turns up, the, the tactics he uses, the passion and the drive he has, it gives him an extra 10%. So yesterday they were not 100% with, uh, I think Peter was managing the team. But Reach is a strong, uh, strong team, I like them. They're very physical and very skillful and they've got the depth. When it matters, I think they can grind out results. So as we said, Reach Out and, and I think Stepney, the two teams, we're hoping to carry the flag for ILFL and hopefully compete in the next rounds because, to be honest, I think they're the two strongest side uh, that are representing ILFL and hopefully they can do some damage. I mean, teams, teams um, apart from the, uh, the other two fixtures that were played yesterday, we don't know much about. Um, apart from Tottenham Phoenix, who were um, semi-finalists for us last year, weren't they? Yeah, um, I, you know what, I watched their game and I was surprised at the full time it was too old because every time I watched, went to the pitch, they were dominating. Yet. At the end of the game, it's, uh, they, it was a draw. So it sometimes goes to show, no matter how much you dominate, if you don't score the goals, take your chances, it can go come back to haunt you. And unfortunately, they well, paid, paid a heavy, heavy, heavy price for not uh, you know, taking those chances because they look better on the pitch. Well, Lix, Lix has clawed that back and then hung on for the penalties. And it, it just goes to show. Gamble, didn't they? Yeah, they, it shows, you know, sometimes it's, it, it doesn't matter how you perform on the game, it's a matter of taking the chances, playing till the final whistle, and they kept coming and coming. Eventually, got the draw, and obviously, penalty shoot out, it's anyone's game, and they managed to throw. I'm sure come next round, they'll know the level they need to be at, and they'll probably add more to the squad or get more players to actually compete in the quarterfinals because it's going to get tougher now. Um, I mean, we, we might as well keep going until until the second segment and we'll get the video on for you in the second segment. So just going on about that, I mean, we've got Shakespeare, who, who I, I got that right, they're returning because they were in the first year, we didn't have them last year, no. and they returned and they've got a new team here. Yeah, they, they were comfortable with us, to be honest. I think the Chef Shu and uh, Berbers, they weren't the strongest side. They found it difficult to uh, handle Shakespeare. Shakespeare dominated the game. Two new, actually, you know, he's a credit to them. Could have been seven or eight from what I saw because they totally dominated. The number of chances they had, uh, from right from the beginning to the end, I think they were the outstanding team. But for me, again, I would like to see them against a tougher team, uh, and, and then we'll see the true credential of Shakespeare. I don't think the opposition gave them that much of a challenge, uh, without any disrespect to the uh, Chef Show and Bur Berbers. They were okay, but I think Shakespeare just dominated. It was a bit, mm. uh, bit easy for them okay. on the eye. Um, I mean, sh uh, we're, we're going to touch on. Um, in a moment on, 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 on the remaining teams and what division they represent. I mean, Chef Show and they were, they were from the first division of the Musical League. Okay. So, um, okay, and obviously um, Stepney and Gower All-Stars, they're through for reasons beyond me anyway. So, um, 
I'm going to take you over to the screen now because we want to look. We want to now focus on the eight teams that are through, um, and we did this last year and looked at their league positions, and and that's what we're going to do for now. So up on the screen, coming up for you is the eight teams that are gone through. And I'm actually just going to read this through so you understand. Um, the strength that's left in this competition. So there we have, we've started off with the two ILFL teams. Again, um, big personal, uh, uh, personal happiness for me. My ILFL has got two teams instead of one this year in the, in the quarterfinals. We've got Stepney, um, who I'm vying for um, and who I'll be supporting for this competition. Um, as you can see, they're from the ILFL League. They're in the Premier Division and they're first in the Premier Division. So uh, by rights, they're there. Then we've got Reach Out, who um, are fourth in the Premier Division of the ILFL. However, they're only... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, they were first. So again, another strong outfit for us. Then we go to the three teams that are through from the Hackney and Leighton League. Myland, as Rash just mentioned a few moments ago, they are top of the premier of the Hackney and Leighton League. So a very strong team and absolutely pos the positions there. London Meteors, they're in sixth position. I think this time last year, they were in eighth position, but they were absolutely storming this uh, competition. So don't ever write them off. And then we've got Shakespeare there, who Rash just mentioned shortly. Uh, didn't get a good enough competition, but you can see there they are a strong team if they're going to be third in the Hackney and Leighton League and then we go on to the three teams and again well done to the Musical League as well you've got three of your teams through um, Gower All-Stars our semi-finalists from last year wonderful team that comes down from the Northwest they are top of the Musical League and by rights they are through to the next round in this competition as well we've got Lixis there who are in second place in the Musical League and um, so they are again another strong outfit remaining and then London Tigers they're in eighth position in the musical league it's actually bottom of the musical league um, however they are obviously through and a whooping 7-0 so that is the um, that's the way it's looking we've got a draw coming up we've got highlights still to show you plenty of stuff to do we need to go for a quick break I'll see you guys in a few moments <laughs> 